Well, welcome back to the kitchen, and I've got a very unusual machine here tonight. This is a duet stereo multiplex. Um, yes, you did see the dial light flicker again. There's a bit of a loose connection there, the bulb screw in, so that's something else to see to. Looking these up on the interweb has yielded absolutely nothing at all about them. And uh, this one belongs to James, and he brought it down, and in, in a right old state, I have to say. For one thing, it had no turntable on top of it, and uh, one of his relatives had cut a big hole in the side and put um, full-size jack plugs in the side of it. Something about uh, testing equipment. Well, the turntable that uh, was fitted was clearly the miniature BSR type, which is usually found on those little ITT things with the speakers in the lid. And it just so happened that I had a dud, one of those, kicking about. It's uh, really a bit too far gone to do up. A bit uh, too tatty, shall I say. Now, you might think that a cheapie like this wouldn't sound very good. But uh, you'll be surprised. It's got tape in and tape out on the back. All the RCA plugs. Uh, the Phono, of course. Multiplex, AFC, FM and AM. Volume, treble, bass and balance. And I think that's the key, really, isn't it? Because if it was just a, um early version of a crapophobe, it would probably just have a tone control, wouldn't it? If that... And there's even an FM stereo lamp, and that will be a lamp, because this is rather ancient. You won't find any uh, microchips inside there if you open it up. And I'm fairly sure from looking at the chassis that this was made, to begin with, as a little uh, radio come amplifier. And the record player may have been something of an afterthought. Uh, they may well have imported this from Japan, say, and then they built the cabinet and BSR supplied the turntable. If I can only set this down... As you can see, it packs quite a punch, the sound, isn't it? It's uh, not advisable with these uh, pocket rocket speakers to uh, have the bass turned up all the way. Let me put it that way. Uh, for a cheapie, and it only draws 25 watts off the mains, at uh, our 250 volts, well, that's what it is down here where I am anyway, it has a remarkably uh, deep and good sound. So uh, perhaps Duet is one of those cheap and cheerful brands that uh, is sometimes overlooked. But as I say, you will look in vain on the interweb for information about these, or so James tells me, and uh, he's been looking. <laughs> anyway, I hope you liked it, and perhaps it is conclusive proof that uh, you can polish a turd after all. Well, I suppose you could if it was a copper light, a fossilised one. 
but given the state this was in, it didn't look hopeful at first, let me put it that way. Anyway, see you soon. Don't get too cold if you're shivering up here in the uh, Northern Hemisphere, or too hot and having uh, too many cool beers if you're down there in the Southern Hemisphere, you lucky devils.